Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the magic loop method to knit in the round, do circular knitting, but using longer needles. Now, typically when you're knitting a hat um, or for projects that require a smaller size circular needle, but let's say all you've got is one of these longer needles that has um, a length of maybe 24, 28 or 36 inches, and you still want to use that um, for the fewer number of stitches, this is the way to do it. So once you've cast on the number of stitches that you want in this in this demonstration, I think I've cast on about 36 stitches. And once you've done that, just bring the stitches to the, the loop part of the needle and just kind of fold them over so that you have even number of stitches, approximately even number of stitches on either side. And then kind of find the middle part here and pull on that loop, okay? And now you're pulling the stitches all the way to the end. So just keep pulling the stitches, the half stitches to this end and half stitches to the other end, okay? And just wanna make sure that they are not twisted, okay? That they're all on the same side, all right? And that's it. That's going to be your starting position. Now what you're going to do is, obviously this is the end where you've finished casting on the stitches. Now you're going to start knitting with this needle onto this needle, right? So at this point, on this back needle, the one that has the working yarn on it, pull that back needle, okay? So that you have this needle free to start knitting. Now your yarn is still here, right? So all you're going to do is, if at this point you need to slip a marker, that's fine. You can go ahead and, and slip a marker to mark your stitch. Or actually, you can rather slip a marker on, on this end, on this needle. So that it kind of goes all the way through. Okay, you slip your marker there. And now you're ready to knit. So here's your yarn, and here's your needle. You're just going to insert your needle. You're going to bring your working yarn. Okay and you're going to start knitting. And I'm just doing I'm just doing an all knit stitch here to to demonstrate um to demonstrate this technique. So you're just going to keep knitting until you get to this point here. So I'm just going to do a simple knit stitch and and this very first row it might feel a little bit awkward when you're doing this um with these two loops kind of hanging about on either side. But after a little while, it, it won't feel it won't feel as bad. It is a little bit more um, time consuming at each row to do this technique. Um, so preferably, you're better off just using the needle size that that you want. But sometimes it's hard to always get a, a, a smaller needle of the the size that you want. So in that case, this technique works just great. All right, when you get to that point, all right. You want to bring these stitches back up to the needle, okay? Essentially, just at the same point where we were at the starting point. So just push these stitches up through here. Again, helps to cast on your stitches a little bit on the looser side, but bring these stitches up through here. And now you're pretty much at that same at that same starting point where your needle, your yarn, your working yarn is on this side, and your stitches are over here, and you need to continue knitting. So once you're at this point, now you're gonna pull this back needle out again, just like before. So you have a free needle to knit into. You have your yarn, okay? And that's it. All you're doing is inserting and continuing to knit. And that's it. You'll keep keep knitting to this end, to the end of this. You'll do the same thing and you'll keep changing it over each row, pulling the loop on one side. Once you get to the half, then flipping it, pulling the loop again. And this is how you would knit in the round using the magic loop technique. If you have any questions on this technique, 
Um, or if you'd like to watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Nitty Cats Knits. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comments box and I will do my best to answer. Thank you.